So let's begin by centering ourselves. Stop, see, breathe, soft and tall, and then off we go. Now you just watch these movements and try to copy them. Don't worry too much about being really accurate. I'm just rubbing here below my clavicles with one hand on my belly button, on my navel. There is a video on our website that explains these movements more and breaks them down if you're interested. And these are thumps, um, quite firm. And this one on the rib cage might be a little painful. And then the rubs also pressing really firmly just helps to wake up the lymphatic system. Again, all these movements can be seen on the website on the resources page. It's also useful just to notice how you're feeling right now. Just tune in and then you can notice if these movements change the way you're feeling in any way. So I'm turning around just so you can see where I'm rubbing and I'm rubbing down either side of my spine. And these rubs are just above the belly button, either side the belly button, just below the belly button. So now you take your thumbs and you jam them into your hip joints and push as hard as you can, just to the knee. And same thing on the inside, roughly where the seam of my trousers is. There you can see, again, pushing really hard. And I'm just reminding myself now to stop, see, breathe, and be soft and tall before I go into a cross crawling. So keeping the... Uh, Lengthening thoughts here, otherwise you find yourself coming down towards your knee. And especially with this movement, bringing the knee up to the arm rather than the arm down to the knee too much. It can be quite challenging. So I'm just going to make it slightly more tricky. See if you can keep up with this. And slowing it right down, so that's really thinking of being soft and tall now, in order to keep the balance going. And you push back against your hand, forwards, in and out. So you're basically pushing hard against your hand and stopping your arm from moving. And these are just a few energy balancing movements, balancing the meridians in the body. And then some breathing, breathing in and slowly out. You can add a whispered R to this if you wish. It's like you're scooping up the energy from the earth and then putting it into the center. The center being just below the belly button. The Dantian it's called in uh, the Chinese discipline of Qigong in Tai Chi. So I'm stretching my arms right back and 
breathing out as the arms come in towards the center. In through the nose, out through the mouth, and going up to the toes on this one if you can. So it doesn't matter which leg crosses over which leg. And this is one way to put the arms here, but there is an alternative if you find that too tricky. You can just fold the arms. I prefer this way. So thumbs up, thumbs down, cross the arms, join the fingers and scoop them up. And now you're going to take three slow breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And after you have breathed out, just pause and wait until the air comes in by itself through the nose. And there's that interesting time when you're neither breathing in nor out. It's always interesting to me what my mind does at that point. And I'm just waiting for my body to take over and to let the air come in. And the breathing's the same as before, but this time the legs are not crossed, just the fingertips together. Again, it's in through the nose, out through the mouth, and pausing after the out breath to wait until the body's ready to breathe in. This particular section, these breathing movements are so useful if you're feeling a little bit stressed or a bit angry, generally out of balance emotionally. It really helps to balance the uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. So there's the flats of my fingers on my forehead and then digging my fingers into my head there and pulling really hard, like I'm combing my hair and then just trying to unroll my ears. And there's a big energy yawn there as I massage in my jaw, getting a big yawn, and then zipping all that energy in. And now we're ready to play and learn. <laughs> 